Hello everyone! We hope you're enjoying the latest additions to the Amplify Animation Pack. We had a great time adding swimming, weapons and even a basic vehicle to it. We're happy to announce that we refactored a few things in our character controller, which now makes it much easier to replace the default character by your own. With just a few steps, you can start using your own models and build upon our starter controller blueprint. If you're attaching objects to your character, such as weapons, stay until the end of the video for a quick note on that. Now let's replace our default character with the Unreal Mannequin. We'll start by opening our character blueprint. Select the mesh. Replace the skeletal mesh by your own. In this example, I'm using the Unreal Mannequin. Replace the materials used. And finally set the animation blueprint, and that's all you need to do to use the included mannequin, which we already retargeted. If we save and go into play, you can see it in action. Now let's replace it with another character that's not been previously prepared for this, such as the epic demo Paragon models. We'll first have to retarget it. We recommend using the included Unreal Mannequin animation blueprint for added compatibility. Our target is hidden. Click here to reveal it, select, be sure to add the prefix so we can find it later, and set a destination folder. After the process is complete, we simply have to follow the same steps as we did before. Open the Amplify Character Blueprint, add the mesh, and apply the required materials. Quite a few in this model. And finally, add the respective animation blueprint. Depending on the model, some adjustments may be required, as this is not a fit-all solution. We recommend checking the available Unreal retargeting documentation, as this is beyond the scope of our controller. As a side note, be sure to check the mesh capsule offset to avoid having it float above the floor. You might also have to reconfigure any physical attributes lost during the process. For your convenience, we've added sockets to the included Unreal Mannequin, so that weapons and other attachments used by our controller work correctly. You'll have to replicate this on your own model, depending on your requirements. You can filter by name to quickly identify them. Be sure to refer to our wiki in the video description below for additional information and links to Unreal-specific tutorials.